When I first started working for the tie-dye shop, I was like, why tie-dye? You know, so why tie-dye is an awesome question. Um, rainbows make people smile. My first tie-dye was like turquoise and purple and really mellow. And I was like, yeah. And then um, now I'm like, all right, it's not rainbow. I don't know if I can have it because my favorite color is rainbow. So, and it goes with every other color. It's really awesome. I just, I really like, like when people see it, they can't help but smile. And it's like, oh, rainbows, sparkles. <laughs> I mean, I know it distracts the hell out of me, so I can only imagine. My name is Sunshine Powers. Uh, I am 35. I own my own uh, dress design business and my own sparkle company. I am also co-owner of Jam and On Hate, which is a tie-dye shop on the corner of Hate and Masonic. I have always wanted to make clothes and I have a very different body type so I got into design through the need for me to want to look awesome uh, and I had to design my own clothes to do it. When my grandmother passed uh, she left me a design book and she said that this is what I should do. Uh, I opened my first design business when I was 18 in Eugene, Oregon where I was going to college. Um, and I've learned through my design and from being part of the tie-dye company that rainbows make people smile and it's great to just create these crazy outfits where I get to look at people who know me and go, is this too much? And they're like, we're talking about you. So like, it's not too much and it's awesome. <laughs> I, I do not hoard. You know, you have to get rid of stuff to make way for new stuff. So I definitely try to balance out my tie-dye. The connection that tie-dye has with the hate is hand in hand. And I, I consider our shop to be the gateway to hate and Ashbury. Like we are rainbow and poof, and here you go. This is what hate and ashbury should be it's what it has been and it is an example of what we all hope to be you know hate and ashbury helped shape who we are as a country there are so many amazing things that happened here that spread all over the united states there are so many magical things that happened here and when I think hate and Ashbury, I think tie-dye. When I think the summer of love, I think tie-dye. When I think hippie, I think tie-dye. Do I think that I'm a hippie? I don't know. For me, the hippies was like the 19th late summer of love. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and today, I kind of feel like we all want peace and love. It's not a hippie movement. It's a we're good people movement. You know, we want to do good things. Um, and as I said, the tie-dye makes people smile. When I think about the summer of love, I think that makes me smile. And I think it just goes hand in hand. Uh, and there is a vibrancy to it. There is an art to it. Everything's one of a kind. And if it's done right, it's mind-blowing. If it's done wrong, it's really bad and there's no point in it. And I'm kind of a tie-dye snob, but it's there's a certain quality in anything that you should uphold, whether it's tie-dye or life in general.